Let's calculate a value added tax. So if a TV is priced at 280 euros plus VAT at 23%, how much is its full cost? Okay, I do these using the unitary method whereby I let 100% equal the 280 uh, value of the television. If that's the case, 1% is 280 divided by 100, 2.8 euros. And therefore the full cost of the telly 100% plus 23% VAT, i.e. 123%, is this 2.8 by that 123 is €344.40. Second example, find the price of a washing machine priced at €650 Euros plus 23% VAT. So the solution is to let 100% equal the €650 Euros, uh, cost of the washing machine. If that's the case, 1% is 650 divided by 100, 6.5 euros. Maybe make that bigger for you. Uh, and therefore, the final price of the washing machine must be the 100% of the machine plus the 23% of the VAT added on, 123%. So we multiply, uh, we've multiplied this one by 123 to get 123. So we multiply this 6.5 by 123. And our final answer is 799.50. So this is one uh, students sometimes have problems with. It's kind of working backwards. So if the selling price of an iPad is 738 euros, what was the price of the iPad before VAT at 23% was included? Okay, well the solution for this is to recognise that 738 euros uh, accounts for the 100% price of the iPad plus the 23% that was included. So 123% equates to 738 euros. 1% 1 therefore 738 divided by 123 euros. So 100% must be 738 by 123 times 100, 600 euros. And that, that looks like it makes sense. The iPad was 600. If you got 23% of 600 and added it onto it, you would get 738. Now, a rail fare goes up by 6% to €42.40. Euros 40. What was the old fare? Solution. Let uh, this new fare, this new fare, which is uh, equal to 100% of the old fare, plus 6%. So let this 106%, uh, let the new fare equal 106%, the old fare plus the 6% rise, 106%. So if that's the case, divide that by 106, we get 1%, and divide the other side by 106, we get uh, that 1% must be equal to 4240 divided by 106. So therefore, a 100%, which was the old fare, must be equal to 42.40 divided by 106 times 140 euros. So let's look at percentage profit and loss. So the percentage profit can be calculated by finding the actual profit divided by the initial cost or the actual cost times 100, whereas the loss uh, accrued in a, in a transaction can be, uh, the percentage loss can be found by dividing the actual loss uh, by the initial cost or actual cost. I'm multiplying that by 100. So here's an example. By selling a car for for 14,400, a dealer would lose 4% on the on the purchase price. What did he pay for the car? Okay? So if he sells for 14,400, that must be equal to 96% of the price. So we equate 96 percent to 14400 so 1% must be equal to 14400 divided by 96 so 100% in other words uh, the full price of the car must be equal to 14400 divided by 96 times 100 is 15000 in other words he bought the car for 15 if he sold it for 144 he would lose uh, 4% so this 15 represents 100% uh, this uh, less it's 4% would represent 96%.
Find the percentage profit uh, if he sold the car for seventeen two fifty. Well, we just get the actual profit and divide that by the cost. So seventeen seventeen two fifty minus the fifteen thousand he paid for the car divided by the fifteen thousand he paid for the car uh, times a hundred means that he made a profit of two two fifty divided by the initial cost of fifteen thousand times a hundred, fifteen percent uh, percentage profit, fifteen percent profit. Okay, let's look at household bills next. So here we have a quick example, household bills. Uh, calculate the final bill given the following information for electricity. Standing charge 1860, present meeting, uh, meter reading 38423, previous uh, reading 37483, uh, cost per unit 23 cents, VAT and the total bill at the end 13%. So the number of units used uh, is the present minus the previous. 940. The cost is 940 by 0.23 euros gives us 216.20 euros. The final bill uh, will be 216.20 uh, euros plus 13%. So we let 100% equal to the 216.20. 1% will be this value here. So the final bill is actually the 100% plus 13%, 113%. So we multiply 216.2 divided by 100 all by 113 using the unitary method and we get 26532.